the desk is Mark Hackle, Macomb County executive. Mark, it's always good to see you up here. Sure yeah. yeah. the war, it's like the so today on our Sunday morning program, we'll talk in depth with the man many people believe is Southeast Michigan's and he rising is the political star. executive. And he's our guest today. We'll have the label Macomb County. My guest right now is Mark Hackle. He's the Macomb County executive, frequent guest on the program. Welcome back, sir. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. We didn't invent the automobile, but we engineered and built the machinery that allowed for its mass production. Our manufacturers are the backbone of the auto industry, and our engineers are its future. That's what's going to bring back America. Uh, it's a small companies like PTI that are employing 200 or 300 or 50 or 20 people. This is the manufacturing footprint of the United States, and this is what it's all about. And I think Macomb uh, and its uh, its community on the rise is growing. It has a lot of new home starts here. It's a desirable location for many people. As CEO of PTI Engineer Plastics, and uh, on behalf of PTI Engineer Plastics, uh, we are proud to call Macomb our home. Agriculture has always been a part of Macomb County's rich history multi-million dollar industry right here in our own backyard. Blake's has expanded uh, through ourselves and our brothers and sisters to three locations, two of which are in Macomb County, one in the town of Elmont. We're currently um, trying to exist in the farming industry by diversifying ourselves, and a lot of farms are, to be able to maintain our existence over the long haul. And that um, leads into us trying to provide more full-time jobs in the farming industry, particularly here in Armada, Michigan, where we can employ people on a year-round basis and have quality employees. There's 13 of us that grew up on this farm, all went to the local high school here, and uh, really like Macomb County, and, and we think it's a great place to live. Macomb County is your ultimate all-access pass to everything fun, where you can catch the biggest acts at the best venues while wearing the latest in fashion. Shop around. If you want it, Macomb County's got it. Well, I think uh, in 2013, reopening Freedom Hill was awesome. Uh, I think the Macomb, I know the Macomb County residents were very excited about it. We were able to bring world-class acts back to Macomb County. But what's even more important is all of Metro Detroit comes to Macomb County to enjoy concerts. Um, this year at the center alone, we've had the most new tenant construction we've had since the center's inception in 2007. And a great deal of that new retail is homegrown here in Macomb County. Doing business in Macomb County is really a pleasure. I do have restaurants in other counties, and uh, Macomb County is very business friendly. Just a few weeks ago, we celebrated our annual tree lighting ceremony that brought in over 7,000 customers here. Um, not only to light the tree with Santa, but to also support our center. And I think it's a huge indication of the growth in our community, in the county, in the state, and we're proud to be a part of that growth. Home County is home to four world-class healthcare systems. By providing jobs, education, and innovation, we have surgically inserted ourselves into a regional healthcare industry. McLaren Macomb is one of the largest employers in the Macomb County region. We employ over 2,000 employees, and because of the nature of the healthcare industry, the vast majority of them are professional physicians. Our primary focus is really on creating a healthier community. As advocates for the county, it's our accountability to translate that and demonstrate the passion about it. That community tie is very, very important to us, and it allows us to really get closer to the communities and know what it is that they need from us from a healthcare delivery perspective. As the number of defense contractors investing in Macomb County's innovation continues to grow, so does our reputation as the defense capital of the Midwest. The defense industry um, is very much a Michigan story. Um, it is not just a southeast or a southwest or a central or a UP uh, story, but it is a Michigan story and it's creating jobs throughout Michigan. But the epicenter of those jobs is right here in Macomb. Governor Snyder and Mark Hackle sat down and, and talked about really wanting to focus on defense industry. 
um, in Michigan and realizing that the defense center for Michigan was right here in this corridor where the Detroit Arsenal is. Education is the foundation of personal growth and success. In Macomb County, there's an educational opportunity for everyone. Macomb Community College is one of the larger, more comprehensive community colleges in the country. Uh, in terms of the amount of degrees we produce each year, over 2,600 students get degrees. We stand 17th in the country in terms of the number of degrees we produce each year. We've grown up in this community. We were started almost 60 years ago in a, in a basement of a high school in Warren. We're now over 48,000 students being educated here uh, on four different campuses. Our job is to open up educational opportunities for the residents in this county, and we think as more residents ask for and demand a four-year degree, this college can work with the four-year institutions to provide access to higher education. Macomb well, County has a significant freshwater advantage. Lake St. Clair, the Clinton River, and our surrounding waterways makes us the gathering place of the Great Lakes. You can uh, access any part of the shoreline or all of the shoreline, uh, depending on your, uh, on your ambition. It starts at a park with someone just looking out over the water and getting their feet wet, and then soon they want to be on the water uh, in some type of vessel, and that could be a kayak or that could be a 40-foot sea ray. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's a, a way that we're just expanding recreational opportunities in Macomb County.